right, in this problem I'm going to work out an individual integral. Um, I am going to totally 100% do this problem with substitution. It is going to involve more than one substitution, all right, in order to be able to do it completely by substitution, all right, but it is one approach that can be taken. All right, so let's say we've got the integral of tangent x, natural log of the cosine x dx. All right, well, first of all, I'm going to start with the inside most part of this function, and that's what I'm going to let my u be. So I'm going to let u be cosine of x. All right, I'm going to take the derivative of both sides. So I'm going to have du is equal to a minus sine x dx. I'm going to go ahead and solve all the way down for dx. So I'm going to have a du over minus sine x, and that's going to be equal to my dx. Okay, I'm going to come up here to my original function, and I'm going to start doing some substituting. Okay, now, I see a tangent here, and I see a sign here that's going to get substituted in for my dx. All right, well, clearly, I'm not going to have anything to substitute there, so hopefully, right off the bat, you can just see, oh, tangent, I can rewrite as sine over cosine, and that's going to help tremendously. So that's what I'm going to do. Tangent, I'm going to rewrite as tangent or uh, sine over cosine x okay now natural log is going to stay put so natural log I'm going to go ahead and put in the u for cosine x right there and then I'm going to replace my dx with the du over a minus sine x okay now at this point um, when you start working here, you can see that the sine x and the sine x is going to cross out. You're going to be able to pull out a negative. All right, I'm still going to have a cosine u here, but or a cosine x, but cosine x is u. I didn't replace it in that first step, all right, so I can in the second one. All right, so let's pull this out. Let's take the negative out. Then I'll have the integral. All right, if I replace that with a u, all right, then I'm going to have 1 over u right there. All right, I'm going to have a natural log of u and then the du. All right, now it's at this point right here where, okay, so now I can't really integrate this easily. I don't want to go to um, integration by parts or anything like that. So I'm going to do a, another substitution. All right, this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to let my, um, let's just pick another variable t. Let's let that be the natural log of u. So I'm going to do a second substitution. I'm going to let t equal the natural log of u. All right, I'm going to take the derivative of both sides. So I'll have a dt all right, is equal to a 1 over u du. And then if I multiply both sides by that 1 over u, it's going to result in a u dt is equal to a du. So now I'm going to come back up to this original equation and I'm going to start making some substitutions. I'll still have the negative that's out in front of my integral. Then I'll have my integral. All right, I'm still going to have the 1 over u. That's going to stay there. All right, natural log of u, I'm going to put a t in there to replace that. du is going to be a u dt. Okay, now what that's going to allow me to do is to take this u and this u and cross them out. All right, 1 times t is just going to be a nice little t in there. So I'm going to have negative integral of t dt. All right, now I'm to some place where I can actually integrate this. All right, so the negative stays out in front. Um, and then I will have a t to the second power with a 1 half in front and a plus c. So now it's just a matter of backtracking and putting everything back in. For this t right here, I need to put in the natural log of u. So the negative is still going to be out there in front. I'm going to have a 1 half t is a natural uh, log of u. So natural log of u, it is being squared. And then plus c. Okay, still not done. Got to go back and figure out what my u was. My u is cosine x. So I'll have a negative one-half natural log replacing u with cosine of x. All right, and then that all being squared, because natural log of u was squared, this whole thing has to be squared, and then plus c. OK, 
okay? So um, doing this problem 100% by substitution is possible, all right? You just have to choose another letter to do basically two separate substitutions, all right? Again, just one way to approach this problem, uh, but definitely trying to emphasize, you know, substitution for those people that have just learned substitution. Uh, definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.